During the rise of the Empire, the Emperor's home planet of Naboo rapidly established itself as a major irritant. After a number of Naboo's ambassadors were sent home in various states of dismemberment, her newly elected queen broke off diplomatic ties and began exploring military options. Clearly, it was time for a regime change, a change that would be affected by the 501st, now under the direct command of Darth Vader. Our orders were simple, to infiltrate the city, take out their leader, sending a clear signal to other potential troublemakers in the Empire. Welcome to the capital city of Feed. Tonight, we will be performing a radical destabilization of the Feed government via the elimination of their queen. She is heavily guarded in the central plaza by a group of Jedi and an auto turret grid. In order to defeat these defenses, we must set up a perimeter around the central plaza and shut down the auto turret grid. Careful, soldier. Your numbers are few and the mission success rests on your shoulders. Now it's onto the Embassy Plaza. Move out. Watch out, soldier. The auto turret grid is still online. Keep you and your men out of the central plaza until we can find a way to shut down the turret grid. Far so good. Now capture the guard post past the embassy. If he needs some extra firepower, we've managed to sneak a tank for you at the embassy command post. Use it wisely. Attack that tank!
now he must destroy the auto turret grid console, clearing access to the central plaza. Destroy it, and the queen will be ours. Personal Jedi bodyguards have broken from the palace. Destroy them. Royal Guard are trying to escape. Quickly, you must eliminate the Queen at all costs. service for the Empire. The Queen's death will serve as an example to other nascent rebellions, saving countless lives. With the Queen eliminated, Naboo quickly fell in line. It was the first time the 501st was called upon to adjust a planet's government. But it wouldn't be the last. Within months, the 501st gained a well-deserved reputation as Vader's fist. Although the Clone Wars were over, some people never seemed to get the message. The worst case of denial was Gizor Delso, a Geonosian separatist who'd somehow escaped Lord Vader's efforts to wipe out the remnants of the CIS. Lord Vader tracked him to Mustafa and brought us in to finish the job. It seemed like a simple enough mission, but when we saw the fleet of droid ships hovering over the planet, we suddenly realized that Delso's denial mechanisms were a little more dangerous than we'd imagined. destroy that transport. Use any means necessary to clear the hangar. Attention! All second stage pilots! On deck!
Now get into your fighters and give those droids all you've got. Destroy their fighters and bombers. Watch out for the asteroids, pilots. They're easy to destroy, but that doesn't mean they aren't dangerous. Scramble reinforcements. Repeat. Scramble all reinforcements. Just that scout. bomber to deliver the maximum damage. just issued a new order. He wants someone to land in the enemy's hangar, steal one of their strike bombers, and return it to our hangar. Get moving, pilots. Target that bomber and take him down. Attention, all pilots report to the hangar area. Oh, <laughs> 
area. Excellent job, pilots. Lord Vader will be most pleased. The slight whiff of nostalgia the 501st had enjoyed fighting the droid fleet over Mustafar had already grown sour by the time we'd established orbital positions. Now it was time to find out what this was all about. By the time we'd made our way to the molten surface of Mustafar, it was apparent that Delso had been a busy little bug. All by his lonesome, he'd found a previously hidden droid factory, fired it up and cranked out his own private army of battle droids. Needless to say, this got the men of the 501st a little hot under the helmet, and not just because of all that lava. Truth be told, we'd all had our fill of those gearheads during the war, and we couldn't stomach the thought of going through another one. So we blew them up, blew up the droids, blew up the factory, damn near blew up the planet. All right, troops. Today we stamp out final remnants of the CIS. Eventually we'll be blowing up a hidden droid factory. But for now, we need to infiltrate and secure that nearby mining facility. Move them out. Take control of the lava observation room. control of the walkway. Watch out for snipers! Keep moving! Sniper spotted at 2 o'clock! base looks like a good place to make a stand. Capture it! we don't destroy today will come back to haunt us tomorrow. Wipe them out! These Geonosians have been working on a new Confederate infantry prototype. Destroy the schematics before they can use them to build a new droid army.
just got killed bringing the other beacon. Go out and retrieve it. antenna. base and watch the fireworks. Watch out for bugs. Raining bugs. Kill them all. One droid rebellion. The destruction of the mining facility put an end to any thoughts of a second droid rebellion. For the first time in years, the man of the 501st could relax and get about the business of maintaining an empire rather than building one. Officially, there never was a clone rebellion on Kamino. Unofficially, approximately 20 years after we were created, a special detachment of the Imperial 501st Legion was dispatched to Kamino with orders to eradicate an army of clones that had been bred to take arms against the Empire. Our mission commander, an expert on the inner workings of Kamino, was a young bounty hunter named Boba Fett. Boba Fett has been chosen to lead a small task force into the Kamino cloning center. His familiarity with the center's layout and access codes should give us the element of surprise. wants us to collect some DNA samples from our evil brothers.
DNA sample secure, pulling ship back to a safe distance. Good job. Now take that CP and await further orders. Destroy the computers keeping the Kaminoans clone pods alive before they can create any more traitorous anti-troopers. are evacuating in five minutes. Take down their transports before they can escape.
The bounty hunter left after the battle was over. He said something about tracking down a smuggler on Tatooine. After the Kamino uprising, the Emperor decided that an army of genetically identical soldiers was too susceptible to corruption. Future troopers would be cloned from a variety of templates. Though the 501st itself remained pure, the rest of the Imperial Army gradually became more and more diverse. We never really got used to the new guys.